when I was uh, uh, co-chairing the National Computer Ethics and Responsibilities Campaign. <laughs> it was two noble-hearted souls trying to uh, plant a flag in the ground for awareness about evolving trends and the requirements to meet them in ways that were civil, really, ultimately, I suppose you'd say. We were brainstorming um, uh, scenarios as we were going out and talking to people about what we anticipated future ethical dilemmas might be um, that were being uh, created by the great uh, analogue to digital shift that was unfolding um, in earnest at that time. And um, pornography obviously was one of the things we uh, spoke to, uh, fake, fake representation, so on and so forth. But uh, neither uh, Dr Peter Tippett nor I really had any um, true sense of what the um, concurrent monetization and weaponization, really, of everything was actually going to end up as. We can say that, in a very uh, true sense, is that um, I don't particularly care to use the language of warfare. But you could basically say that um, cyberspace is no less a forum for uh, spiritual warfare than um, uh, concrete reality. And um, it seems to me that the weaponization, monetization of everything was ultimately going to be an inexorable consequence of the bringing of so much of human consciousness and activity, focus, concern and sense of significance into this single realm, this single skin of culture, this single space that we refer to as the new sphere, or at least the mystics do. The web, internet, of all things, all that. And much as the uh, fundamentals of um, dynamics in cyberspace, from the most intimate to the largest, most geopolitical, um, reflect the uh, evolution of uh, both effect and um, require the evolution of uh, consciousness. Um, so the dance between light and dark, between good and evil, also unfolds there and is also subject to the same prophetic insights and injunctions that apply to all life. The works of the evil spirit in cyberspace have had their time, I sense, 